What was Toronto like in 1959? Well, it, it was, uh, I suppose, in a much smaller way, as hard as New York, but because it was smaller, just by definition, of course it wasn't as hard. There were no agents, or almost none. I think Sylvia Train was the only agent right. working in Toronto. Um, I, I hitched a ride with uh, an architect who lived um, in the apartment below my mother from Birmingham, Michigan, and uh, arrived in Toronto, and I stayed with a, a girlfriend of mine named Patty Moen, who had been at, I'd been at Leamington with. And I was there for uh, just a few days, as I remember. And I went to all the auditions I, I could, that I could find. I auditioned for the CBC, and I went and auditioned for the Crest. And I don't remember how I found out about these, but somehow I, I did. And uh, then I went back home and sat with my mother for a week, just waiting to hear. And I didn't hear anything from the CBC. But a letter came from Murray Davis from the Crest saying that they were starting a repertory season and they would like me to come for the first two plays. No phone call, no email. Of course, there wasn't such a thing. And to think that this arrived in the mailbox and my mother, bless her heart, was just as excited as I was. And it gave me the time of my first rehearsal. So then I had to go to Toronto, find a place to live, and I had to go through immigration. I wasn't an equity member. That was probably a large reason they hired me, and um, I had to get my landed. Uh, I had to get a visa, a work visa, for the first two plays, which I did. And then after the first two plays, they asked me to stay on, so I had to go back and get a card saying I was a landed immigrant, and that broke my mother's heart. Because my mother always thought in the back of her head, after I got this Canadian thing out of my out of my system that I would go to New York. And when you, I would when you stood on Cornell. stage, when you stood on the stage at the Crest Theatre in 1959, performing to that audience, what did it feel like? Did it feel crude? Did it feel no. like Broadway? Like, I mean, it, it was a relatively nascent kind of theatre community in a, put together in a theatre that hadn't been really used for theatrics for a long time. Didn't feel that way to me at all. Not at all. I was working with Murray Davis, Donald Davis, Charmian King, Amelia Hall, Sandy Webster, uh, Norman Etlinger, John Vernon, um, oh, wow. Dougie Chamberlain, Sylvia Gillespie, um, Edward Stevenson. Um, uh, hmm. I'll forget some of them. Paulus Thomas. 